Meantime, a 40 mile stretch of Highway 50 is shut down tonight. The closure stretching from just east of Placerville to Myers near South Lake Tahoe. And in one spot, the fire just a couple hundred yards away from the road. CBS 13's Valina Jones is live on the western edge of the closure in Pollock Pines tonight. Valina. The highway completely empty tonight after days of warning about potential closures. This is where the road ends. Despite that, we've seen dozens of drivers throughout the day come to this point just to have to turn around. Cars caught by surprise. I'm not real happy, yeah. you know. I only got the, 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 uh, the alert a few minutes ago and the highway's closed already. Scott O'Neill, one of the dozens of drivers detoured traveling up Highway 50 towards Tahoe stopped at Pollock Pines. I just drove through here. There was no there's no, you know, serious situation on the highway. They're closing the highway way too soon. He left his home in Twin Bridges to get a trailer with plans to go back to pack. Now he's heading back down the hill. The amount of area that they're closing is is pretty far and wide. I mean, I understand it's an abundance of caution and everything else, but you know, people got to get their things and get out. The 40 mile highway closure between Sly Park and the town of Myers comes as Caltrans prepares for high winds with potential to fan flames towards traffic. Given the forecast that we have for the weekend with wind gusts 25, 35 miles an hour, we have no idea what that's going to do with the fire. It's really kind of crazy right now. CHP checkpoints stopping other travelers trusting their GPS forced to drive hours out of the way. Google trusted Maps it said open. it was open, so we trusted it. Yeah. So that means we got to backtrack and go up to 80. While winds haven't roared yet, Cal Fire is already seeing problems. We started to receive some, some debris falling down onto the freeway that was making it dangerous for, for cars to pass. A potential highway hotspot, crews hope, won't spark. We're going to invest everything we can into holding the fire south of Highway 50. Let's talk costs. A recent U.S. Forest Service study found the economic impact of closing Highway 50 could cost South Lake Tahoe up to a million dollars a day. Now, Caltrans tells me these closures they expect to last through the weekend.